Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Darwish Zone channel and this is the new video about uh, a new front end for the PI 3, 3B Plus it is called Batosera Batosera I don't know how to spell and this front end is a fork of uh, recall box I've, I've tested recall box uh, on these days and then I even made uh, currently made uh, a new image on recall box which is called the uh, Articade and now I have tested this uh, Batosera Batosera and this interesting fork of uh, recall box it's uh, similar but it's not uh, exactly the same to start, uh, I don't manage to, to find a, a custom team which is compatible with the, this uh, system. I don't know why, but the, the only team I found uh, working with this Batosera is called, I show you, Next Level Version 2. But um, maybe there is a team you can install and then make it work on this system maybe is less popular than recall box the recall box custom team doesn't does not work on this batosera but see the difference uh, than uh, the recall box to start the the system setting is uh, more complex than uh, recall box you you can also you can still decide the storage. This is a very interesting uh, uh, feature of uh, Recall Box Engine because you can show a choice uh, the internal or any external or, or an, um, I don't even plug it. Yet if you have a USB um, USB key or USB drive you can load um, a system directly from that drive included the, the ROMs so you can even run the games from an external drive or USB key with a very minimum effort there is still the overclock option to, to increase the, the clock of the the speed of PI and gain some uh, performance. Uh, there's the updates option for update. Uh, I don't know who managed this uh, fork, but you probably update the, the system from the repository. It is not the recall box uh, theme to my knowledge, but who cares? Backup user data, core setting, install Batosera on a new disk. This is the new option. I don't know what they don't exactly, but it is not included on recall box. The game setting is more or less the same, but for example, you can select a decoration. The decoration is nothing but overlay and the bezel. So there's bezel even um, already installed on the system. You don't have to install and then select. You just set this ambience and you will have some very nice uh, overlay, retro overlay, CRT style. Uh, a missing BIOS. This is another very interesting feature. The, the system tell you uh, which BIOS are missing from the system. For example, Amiga 1000, it is say to me, it told me is the, the they're missing the BIOS for this system. Or we had the Amiga 6000 or the Amiga uh, 1200. And curiously is to tell me um, all the BIOS are missing if, even if I, I added uh, 
work in BIOS. I don't know if you want some type, specific type of BIOS, I don't know, BIOS, BIOS. Anyway, it's an interesting function. Controller setting, we are setting this is more or less same option uh, than uh, the recall box. But for example, there's something less. For example, on some settings, you, you still can select the volume of the system, but there's not the pop-up uh, of the screen, the overlay, which tell you the name of the track the music uh, recall box have it and Batocera not. I don't know why. Uh, those are system I've included for this test. Um, watch out um, by default is included um, only a, a lot of room without copyright. Okay, so the room you will see on this video are not uh, included on the image. You can you can download, you will see the non-description where download. So I, I included the system, Mega Drive, MSX, Nintendo 64, Neo Geo, Nintendo, PC Engine, Doom, PSP, PlayStation, PS1, Super Nintendo, Sinclair, the X, Amiga, Amiga AGA, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Final Burn Alpha, Game Boy Advance, MIME, Master System, and go on. One thing I don't like of uh, this Batocera is the Commodore 64 emulator. Mm. Same thing as uh, Recall Box. You sadly you cannot uh, um, install emulator you want. You you um, you must stick with the. You are stuck with the emulators they provide you with this version. And the Commodore 64 sadly lack the Libretro version of uh, Vice. So there's uh, the, the original version of Vice which is, uh, is complicated to, to use. I still prefer the uh, version of uh, the Libretto version, because as you can see, the, the menu of the vice uh, is complicated. There's not the hot combo of uh, RetroArch, so it's, it's, um, it's a little more complicated. Uh, I don't like so much, and I have to say. Okay, so um, I hope for the next version the, the authors or the authors uh, will add the Libretro version of uh, Commodore 64. Sinclair, for example, has the, the Libretro version of Fuse. So it's much, much better. I know the Commodore 64 is a is experimental the Libretto version of Vice, but it worked very well. So why don't, don't include it? As you can see, the Spectrum has the Libretto, and and you can enter on the menu of the Retro Arc, much better. Okay, I have to select. Uh, I have to select. Uh, as you can see, the Retro the Retro Arc Libretto also have the virtual keyboard uh, which is handy for the situations okay as you can see i i've uh, injected the, the the comma the keyboard's command through the visual keyboard okay this game sucks a little but I've added uh, just for uh, show you the PlayStation I include the Strider just uh, for example and the PS1 uh, runs well just like uh, recall box this runs well nothing to to report here Strider the Strider for the, the porting of the arcade Yes, 
it was re released even on PS1. Okay, this is Strider, the Strider with the loadings. You can say it's better to play the arcade version without the loadings and nothing to argue about that. <laughs> the game is the same, as you can see. Okay. Let's see another another sister PSP PSP runs so very well on the uh, recall box and uh, even on Batosera. I'm very satisfied. Even Nintendo 64 runs a little better than uh, RetroPie. I don't know why. Probably because the emulators are more refined and more optimized on this uh, system than uh, uh, RetroPie. And this is. Uh, Meme games. I read just some ROM for test. Okay, this is a classic Capcom. There's not uh, overlays, but you can uh, add by yourself or set. How I show you on the menu, you can set. Those bezel, automatic bezel. Let's try to to add one of these. Assume that I will find. <laughs> oh no, I lost them. Game settings. Decoration, decoration, ambience. Zero one. Let's try this. Let's try this with Atari ST. Works well with the. Assume that you install the right uh, BIOS. Amiga, I'm a little. I'm not so satisfied because uh, uh, compared to uh, RetroPie and the uh, AmiBerry emulator does not support the the new uh, fast loading boot. I don't know why. But if you want a super fast boot, you have to use it. Amy Berry on RetroPie. And those versions are a lag behind, sadly. Okay, another shadow maps. Let's try with the overlays set. Ah, it's very good. It set a, a, an overlay in fashion, arcade fashion. Okay, the image is a little stretched, but it's interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. I like this thing. Huh? Uh, let's. Let's take a look if uh, custom uh, the the aspect ratio on the arcade um, is better to set not custom but core provided and this is the correct ratio for the this game but the the overlay is clearly not on vertical ratio but for for third CRT type. Let's try a game with the 64 Street, which I played it also on on my preview test of uh, Arcade. Okay, you can see the. It's much better with uh, okay, and this is a uh, Batusera, very interesting uh, fork of uh, recall box. It has something. 
something less but um, even something more I like uh, very much the overlay automatic overlay but you can add uh, by yourself uh, on the recall box the recall box seems uh, more refined at the project uh, more mature project to me but uh, that's just a question of taste so I've been said uh, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to channel and uh, we we'll catch up on the next one bye bye from DZ